production pipeline out of Adobe Fuse is saving the model in the Creative Cloud library. You can see in the top right here that the option is immediately adjacent to Save to Mixamo. This is where you rig and animate. Um, this allows a workflow through to other programs such as Adobe Photoshop. So we're just going to save that to the Creative Cloud library. We give it a name. I called this fellow Goon1. And then you'll notice because I'm signed into the Creative Cloud, it automatically recognizes all of my libraries. And I created a custom one called 3D Models. So I'm going to save it in there. I click Save. It then prepares all of the assets and pushes that through to the library. That all happens fairly quickly. And now you'll see here I am in my web browser version of adobe.com and I'm looking at my Creative Cloud file areas. Uh, these are things created on mobile devices. Um, here are things that I've created on Adobe Illustrator Draw. Here are things that I've created in libraries, um, and 3D models being one of them. So if I open that up, you can see that there's a collection of all of the models that I've created sitting there available to me within any sort of program that I want to use. So if I were to switch to Adobe Photoshop, see in Photoshop that as I'm working I have access within my libraries palette. I'm just going to switch here. I have access to color themes that I've captured, um, other textures and images that I've captured using Adobe Capture stock images that I've used from Adobe Stock. And I'm going to go into my 3D models. And you can see all of my models there. So there's a soldier. And I can double click that. And it would open that soldier up for me in Photoshop. And then allow me to interact with that soldier in a variety of different ways. As you can see here, if I double click, I can apply various poses, double click on the skeletal structure, it's the little bones, and I get access to the properties menu. I can add expressions, so I give my fellow a cheeky smile, go back into the properties menu choose various different animations, you will notice that there's a great similarity between this and what you're seeing in the platform Mixamo. And this is no coincidence, it's because it's using the same rigging and animation system for the posing of characters here. So again, if I look at Soldier Top Diffuse under Textures here, and I double click that, that gives me access to the texture map for the clothing. And I could take a graphic that I've created for one of my soldiers and just scale that graphic down and use it as a patch on this fellow's fatigues. Let's double click that to confirm the transformation. And there it is. And now if I just exit out of this window, I can save that and I can see. I'll just zoom in. Pan down. And we'll rotate them. 
And you can see that I've added the logo directly on to my soldier. And then, of course, I could export this back out, bringing it into a gaming platform. So you can customize uh, logos and branding, things of that nature, and bring those into your gaming environments on your models. You can see, I'll just show you another one here. This is from a game that I created. And you can see the gaming world there in the background. And I've got that same logo from my evil empire, KinniCorp. Um, where he's trying to construct a bridge there inside the game. So that's a little bit of how uh, Photoshop can integrate into a gaming workflow for some customization of your gaming objects or characters. And uh, we're just going to leave it off there. It's just for you to experiment.